The Lord be with you. And I pray that the Lord is richly blessing you already this day and will do so on into the weekend and in your worship. Props Week continues uh, with our devotion time this week. And uh, the focus of our devotion this morning or today is uh, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3. Hebrews 12, verse 3 says this, Consider him who endured from sinners such hostility against himself, so that you may not grow weary or faint-hearted. So obviously this, as I said, is the third verse, verses 1 and 2 of Hebrews 12, powerful stuff, reminding us that we are, we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses that, and doing so, we look to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith. He is the one who, for the joy set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And so the Hebrews writer reminds us, consider him. This is, is a powerful symbol, Jesus on the cross, but you got to notice that it's not a suffering Christ, it's a triumphant Christ. Christ the victor, Christus victor, is really the title of, a, of this kind of a cross, depicting Christ as king, crowned with glory and honor, reminding us that in his death and his resurrection, we belong to him. So consider him. When we're facing what we're facing, when we are struggling to take the next breath, the next step, wondering how things are going to unfold, wondering if this darkness will ever get light again, consider him who endured such hostility against himself so that you may not grow weary. And these devotions of growing this is a good reminder that we're growing in the right direction, that we're not growing in um, being faint-hearted or weary, but that we're growing in faith, growing in trust, growing in our considering of Him. How do we do that? Consider Him. Well, really the Greek word is to consider closely, to think of, uh, to compare. And so, yeah, are we supposed to compare ourselves with Jesus? Not in an arrogant way, not in a proud way, not in a how do I match up, but in a way that exemplifies walking by faith and not by sight. How do we consider Jesus? By looking to him in his word, by considering all that he went through, and what he is doing right now, seated at the right hand of his Father, praying for us, present in his word, in the power of your baptism, and in his body and blood of Holy Communion, present in us as temples of his Holy Spirit. Consider him. Consider him closely, looking to him, trusting in him, resting in his promises. As you compare yourself with Jesus, you are, I am, we are encouraged and empowered by his presence and by the promises of his word. Con consider Jesus not far off somewhere out of touch and beyond our reach again. Consider him who endured all that he did for you for me, and his promise that right now he is holding on to us and empowering us to walk by faith into this day, into that situation, into the next thing by the strength that he gives to us, by the power of his presence. I invite you to pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you are here that you are with us to the very end of the age. That's your promise. Bless us as we rest in and are strengthened by the promises in your word. Jesus, we pray this in your name. Amen. 
As I said, God's rich blessings on your weekend and worship, and I look forward to being with you again.